Controlling white feces is a major challenge for any shrimp farmer. This video is on white feces, its clinical signs, preventive measures, and treatment options available. The common clinical signs are white feces floating on the water surface, at the same time reduced feed consumption, poor growth. In most of the cases, the weekly growth is less than 1.5 gram. Size variation increases and affected shrimp turns to loose shell, then gradual mortality. In most of the cases, mortality goes unnoticed. The suggested preventive measures are EHP spore inactivation. This can be achieved by application of six metric tons of burnt lime at the time of pump preparation, or during water pumping, we can inactivate EHP spores by applying. 40 ppm of 65% bleaching powder or 15 ppm of potassium permanganate. Then stocking good quality seed that is EHP free and with less vibrio load. Or stocking robust EHP free nursery seeds. Controlling vibrio loads by managing the triggering factors. For example, high stocking density is a triggering factor. You can reduce your stocking density based on the carrying capacity of your pond. Maintain clean pond bottom with the help of central drain or with the help of soil probiotics. Reduce high pH or reduce pH fluctuations by applying fermented jaggery or symbiotics. Reduce blue green algae by application of high dose of probiotics or agriculture lime. And you can also go for shade net. High temperature is another triggering factor. You can avoid farming during peak summer months or else you can also go for shade net and uh, avoid overfeeding by strict sector management. It is a common observation that PE line ponds with central drain has less incidence of white feces. As far as treatment options are concerned, either stop feeding for two days or reduce feeding by 50% for five to seven days, depending upon the severity of the problem. During this period, we can also go for Application of symbiotics like fermented rice brown, ferment the rice brown with a good quality probiotic and apply to the pond and increase the dose of both water and feed probiotics. There are some functional feeds are available in the market. Some of them are really helping you a lot. We can also use bacteriophages or short chain fatty acids or organic acids to control vibrio loads in the gut. And finally, if EHP is there in the system, none of the treatment mentioned here are going to help. That's all for now. If you need any further help, please contact AquaConnect. Thank you very much.